Hello, this is another tutorial uh, using Photoshop CS4 and today we're going to learn how to use the clone stamp tool which we're going to use in the mode of lighten. So if you haven't gotten a picture up, you should get one up now. Uh, let's unlock that layer by hitting the lock here, double click, and just say OK to that. Um, this is pretty straightforward. We're going to launch a new layer from the bottom of the layers palette here. Uh, you can click on the icon next to the trash that says create new layer. And this is the layer that you want to do your uh, clone stamp and generally want to do your uh, any kind of skin fixes. If we were going to be using the spot healing brush or we're going to be using the uh, healing brush tool, you would do these kinds of adjustments on a separate layer, a new layer, right above the picture. And when you do that, make sure you have at the very top checked sample all layers and create texture should have a dot in it. So let's go ahead and grab our clone stamp tool over here in the toolbar and we're going to set the blend mode at the top next to the brush and the opacity slider. We're going to set that blend mode down to lighten. What we're going to do is zoom in a little bit here by hitting command plus plus and get into the area of the eye that I want to kind of treat. And as you can see, if I use my right bracket, the size of the clone stamp sample will increase and decrease. So let's set an area that's somewhere maybe around there and by holding down the option key and getting your little circle here over a clean area of skin or a better quality area of skin, you'll begin to sample that area, click once, and then take some passes in the area you want to clean up. And you can see every time you hit your cursor that we are running through with the crosshairs from the sampled area. We'll try that again. If I hold down option, and I click once, it's going to sample this area here. And as I drag through, it's really kind of taking that clone stamp to a very heavy handed place. Um, ideally, what we will be doing, you can dial this opacity back and make that look a little more realistic. Or what we could do is actually start with a lower opacity clone stamp to begin with. So I'm going to bring this layer to the garbage and we'll try it again. You can always try it over and over as many times as you need to just by launching a new layer here that's a blank layer. Make sure that you are selecting your clone stamp tool. The blend mode at the top drop down can be set to lighten. And let's take our opacity down for this try. Let's take it down to about 50% and see what we get. Let's take a nice sample of skin right around here hold down option, click once, you'll see the circle turns into a crosshair in the center, it's going to sample that area and we can run it along this line here and start bringing that into the lower eye socket area. It's totally fine to resample and very much advisable to resample a new area every so often when you're kind of moving around the eye to make sure you're cloning and bringing in good skin that looks similar to the area you're trying to fix. So I've taken a couple passes in here. Let's try some from over here. Let's move over here in this eye here. I have an area over here that we can grab. Let's say right in here looks okay. Let's hold down option, grab a sample of that, and let's move it up and let's move it out around this eye area here. Let's resample from a darker area that's getting some shadow. And you can just keep grabbing new sample points every so often to make sure you get an accurate uh, area of skin that you're trying to reclone. Now what you can do is dial this back again so the effect is not as strong and make it look a little more realistic. So the first part of that is using your opacity at a lower percent when you begin to take the clone and the second part of adjusting that strength is dropping the opacity of the actual layer where that adjustment now lives to about 50 percent or less to try and save some of the real grain of the skin. Let's turn that layer off and that's before. Let's turn it on. Let's zoom in nice and close by hitting Command Plus. Turn that off by hitting the eye icon. Turn it back on. Well, we haven't done too much of a heavy-handed job and remember you're not limited. You can dial this back even further and find a sweet spot. Maybe it's in around 35 percent. That looks fine to you. It's a little more subtle. Let's back out and take a look. Before and there's after. I hope this tutorial helped you out and helped you learn how to use the clone stamp tool in the blend mode of lighten uh, and learn to play with opacity so that you're not so heavy handed and you do some minor corrections without erasing really the integrity of the skin.